One, two, three. It's your boy! So yesterday was my first full day of vlogging, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was going to be way more, like, intrusive and, like, more more work like oh my gosh I have this camera I have to drag around and I have to make sure I get these shots but it was actually quite pleasant it wasn't bad you know but it was a lot right and um, I guess I just wasn't ready yesterday was a full day and I didn't get to sleep so it was a very so it was a very busy day and needless to say this morning today didn't start off good um, kind of I'm not having a bad day but the day is not going good um, because because of a couple reasons um, you know, yesterday I didn't get a chance to read my Bible or even pray. I didn't really talk to God at all. I was just so busy with trying to do the vlog and trying to do things right. Um, I kind of just neglected God and, you know, a lot of Christ followers, we do that. You know, we're not going to admit it, but <laughs> that happens, you know what I mean? So we, uh, so for myself, I had to be real intentional about reading the Bible, right? Because if I really believe that life is a spiritual battle, um, the enemy, that's the one thing he's trying to get me not to do. He would distract me with everything else, e even doing good things, as long as I'm not reading the Bible and obeying what God has to say. So, I have to really make that intentional. And also, scheduling. Um, I really have to, I, have to, I got a planner, and I, and I plan a schedule, definitely my week, and I didn't do it this week, and I see the effects of that. I see that if you're not organized, you don't have anything structured, you will let anything just come in, and you, you're not really stand, you know, you know, you're not really pressing towards a goal. So right now, I need to take a time, I need to pause, um, I really need to plan my life and plan my, plan my week at least, um, and have a more productive day, and then hopefully the rest of the week um, can also be more productive. Vlog is happening now. This guy's been a huge inspiration to me. He doesn't even know. <laughs> I hope so. Thanks. So. It's kind of crazy. No way. I'm the third. I want. I wanted to start before him, and then he, he hated it at first, and he loved it, and he started, and he's been killing it, man. I got obsessed. <laughs> yeah, man. He's been doing good stuff. So. I got like definitely feet. check him out. His his link will be in the description. All right, so I'm in my office. Um, have a lot of work to do, and um, not a lot of time. Sharon came to the office too. What's up? This is an unplanned work together yeah. thing. All right, so I'm a youth leader at uh, Crossroads Fellowship and on Wednesdays we have youth group. So that's what I'm about to go now. Heading downstairs to do that now. Why are you looking at my camera like that, Joel? What? What you, got, what you got on my camera, bro? What you got on it? What do I got on Like, what do you mean? This is, this is so cool. Is this bendy? Oh, Come know. on, what are you doing? It's not a toy. It's not a game. It's not for fun. <laughs> Business. Business. Here's the, here's the album cover. What is it called again? Letting It Go. So it's about 9.30 now. I'm gonna be at work in about an hour and a half. Um, before I went to work, I, I really wanna get into the scriptures, right? And before I do that, I wanna talk about God's word a little bit. I wanna talk about my perspective on God's word. Because when we talk about the Bible, when we talk about reading the Bible, um, we kinda of just see this Bible as this old book that was written a, a long time ago, um, but we kinda of have to follow, right? And most people, most Christians, they don't read it as much as they should. And they'll admit that. Say, oh, I didn't read my Bible today, or I didn't read it this week. You know, it's kind of just that thing. And I, and I think it's because we have, a, we have a wrong perspective of the Bible, right? We only see the Bible as just a structured 
thing or we got to read it in a structured plan and that's the only time you should be reading the Bible, you know, but I disagree with that, you know, I was having, I guess I was having trouble too understanding the Bible. My perspective was like that too, you know, I was just tired of just reading the Bible just during my Bible plan and which I think having a Bible plan is great and I think we should have one. I think the Bible should also be read as God's word, right? If you're praying to God about sexual temptation or anxiety or or anger or frustration or depression, if you're praying to God and asking God to help you, I think next you should turn to his word and see how the how the people in the Bible overcame them, right? Because if you really look at the Bible, the Bible is a, is a story about ordinary people, right? And, and trusting in God and God's using them to show his glory. That's what it is. It's all the people in the Bible, they're not special. They're not any special, more special than me and you, right? But what they did was they trusted in God. And, and now we, we can use their example, go through their example, and see how they overcame, and also for instruction. So we just need a better perspective of God's word, and, and I'm still struggling with that too. And again, like I said earlier today, like if I really believe that life is a spiritual battle, which I do, you know, the enemy is going to do anything he can, you know, to, to put roadblocks in my way, to put business in my way, to put Facebook or social media or anything in the way of me really sitting down and, and getting power, you know, from the word of God. And if you guys are struggling with having a structured plan, because I know a lot of structured plans fail because um, they're just plans, right? There, there's no true understanding of it, definitely on your own. Um, but I found a resource, man, called The Bible Project, and I'll have their link in the description. And, and these guys have changed the game, man. They, they have um, a, a video for every chapter of the Bible and a video for every theme of the Bible. So as you go through the Bible plan, you're not just reading reading the Bible, right? You're watching videos on Genesis and, and by, uh, you're watching videos on heaven and earth. And what that really mean, heaven and earth, uh, they break that down and, and it definitely gives a new passion for the Bible, right? As as you go through, you're you're looking forward to, you know, how does this how does this make sense with that and, and, and it's becoming the greatest story ever told, um, which is God's word. So I just want to encourage you guys, man, if you guys don't have a plan, man, start now. Don't wait. I don't want to wait till the first of the month. Start now. You know what I mean? Because um again, like you said, this is war man and we, we gotta get on it. Uh <laughs> Trust me, man, you, you don't want to be by yourself. You don't want to fall, man. Um, so, yeah, man, I just want to end up the blog with that. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all your support. You know, uh, yesterday was my first vlog, and I got a lot of support. And, uh, you know, just um, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I, lastly, I just want to encourage you guys to light in God, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. It's your boy, MP. We out. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. It's your boy!